Greetings and welcome back. So we saw in our previous lecture how we could create menus and actions and then tie them um, you know, to our model. And Odoo provided us a default view here because we didn't provide one. Uh, let's come here um, to Odoo Tycoon Game Manager. You notice it just provided the game name. You know, we don't see the day, we don't see the cache, you know, and so it always is just gonna give us this um, you know, default list. And if I click on it, it's, it's set this up for us. Maybe this is the way we want it to look. Maybe it isn't. But it at least provides us a default interface. So um, now we're going to see how we can make this list view show the other items that we want, um, specifically the cache and the current day we're on. So let's go ahead and head back to our PyCharm. And we're going to go back and look at our views. So everything's in this views file. And um, Odoo's already provided us with a example list. Um, if I scroll up here to the very top, it shows explicit list view definition, meaning this is you specifying your own. So let's go ahead and uncomment it like that. So we want to tie our action that happens here this odoo tycoon notice how it says odoo tycoon dot action window we want to tie this now um, you know we want to tie this to our list view up here you know we want to make sure that this fires off now you'll see that it's a little bit confusing that there's no uh, direct tie-in we just basically change this to game manager and when you pick the tree view here, it's automatically going to find the tree view um, that goes with that, that uh, model. So you don't have to tie this ID to, to this list view in any way. You can, this can be named whatever you want. So we, we can call this a game manager list. And I say it can be named whatever you want, but it, it, also, it has to start with Odoo Tycoon and a dot so it knows that we're talking about our module here. And uh, after the dot, um, it can be whatever you want, but you can't have another dot. You're, you're, you know, you're, you're limited to one dot in here. Okay, so then we can have a list uh, or a name here for our list. So we can call this Odoo Tycoon game manager list if we wanted so just so we can see when it displays that and um, the thing is these the name field here is fine but these are wrong instead here we're going to want to have cash and then current day just like that now did I say day or current day I said day and I confused myself day all right so that's all there is to it. This is now going to display those in the tree view. Notice that all we did here was just say Odoo Tycoon dot Game Manager. We changed it here, um, and Odoo's framework is automatically going to find it um, when you specify a tree view. And it'll find that. So let's go ahead and save and do a restart. And come back. And if we shift refresh, remember I said you have to shift refresh. Ooh, we get an internal server error. So let's see where I messed up. We're going to scroll back up. And when this happens, I like to make this bigger so it's easier to see what's going on. It says error while validating constraint. Usually at the very top is where it's worse. Odoo Tycoon game. Up, oh, I mistyped it. See, I don't have my A in there. So I don't um, pause these videos when this kind of things happen because these are going to happen to you. And part of this is if I don't show you when this happens, you'd just be confused. So I, I basically, when I saw that I had an error, I got an internal server error. I had to look at my, um, you know, look at my terminal here to see where the error is and find that. And I can see right here it says, model not found and I can see that I'm missing the A between uh, the N and the G here. So I just have to go up and change that um, here. Game man -er, not manager. Save it 
and restart it. So that's simple uh, troubleshooting, debugging. And there'll be plenty of opportunities to do that because I'm not, uh, I am gonna make mistakes uh, and, and you will too. So I shift uh, refresh and now you can see that we have game name. Now we have the 5,000 in cash listed here and the current day. So we can do the same thing with um, custom form views as well. And so let's now see right now when we go here, it's still showing the generic form view. So, you know, it, we want to just change this right now. We're not, there's not a lot we can really need to do to it, but we are going to want to add functionality like a button for next day, which we'll do in the next lecture. So we can increment the day in our game. And so um, let's come down here or up here <laughs> to our pie charm. And let's go ahead and create a custom form. And the easiest way to do that is just to copy this list definition and paste it. So copy, I copy the whole thing and paste it like that. And if I want, I can put a comment over it um, by copying this comment here, coming down and pasting it. And I'm gonna make this smaller now and I'm going to say explicit form view definition. This will change to form like that. And I can actually, uh, we don't want the IDs to conflict, so we'll change this to form. And I'm actually going to go ahead and run this now. It's not going to look pretty. Well, let's go ahead and see what we get. If I shift refresh, there it is. Now, it's being very specific. It's taken the f field, there's the f you know name, field, cache, and field day, and it's just scrunching them all together. And you can see when I edit, how it looks when I edit them. That's not what we want. But we can solve that real quickly by putting a group here around them. So now I'm gonna cut that and paste it. So even if you don't know XML, you know, I, I've looked at this a lot. Um, so I'm probably going fast for anyone who's a beginner. But basically, you know, as you follow along the syntax, what you're learning is any beginning tag needs to have an ending tag. And I'm basically grouped these fields uh, together now. And when Odoo sees this, it knows to handle them differently and display a label plus the field then. So it's going to look a lot better just by doing that. I control S and restart. And if we shift refresh, we're going to see our three fields here. Game name, cache, current day, all listed the way that they look a lot better this way. And we could, if we wish, go in and edit them. Um, directly. Now, obviously, we're not going to be editing them except when we're just configuring our game or messing with it. We're going to make it so that when we're playing the game, it's automatically um, updating those values. So, uh, with that with that said, I'm going to end this lecture, and in the next lecture, we're going to begin uh, stepping into actually creating processes in Odoo. We're going to create a button for our next day. It's going to show up right here. We're going to have a button, and when you click it, it's going to increment the day and then we're going to have a special challenge for everyone so that you can then um you know we'll we'll pause the video we'll stop it and you'll try to you know add your own functionality where you uh make some money or do some other kinds of things to update uh, these values in these models so we you know so far have created a model we created m menus and actions to trigger a view off that model and then we created explicit view uh, for uh, the list and explicit views for the form there everything's real simple right now we're still just building up and learning the basics but uh, we have covered the three main uh, segments of the Odoo framework and that's models and uh, actions and views and everything in Odoo is going to be based around those three things and if you can understand what we've gotten to so far even though um, if you're a beginner Python programmer or beginning uh, with XML all that you're basically copying and pasting and just changing values but practice with it make your own models make your own views and, and start simple 
and eventually um, the the syntax will become less confusing and, and you'll make a lot of progress. So look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.